Keeping this safe should be your utmost priority. Now, breaking a leg is horrible, but it's nothing compared to your head becoming tarmac pizza. Remember this guy, Gary Busey? He's got a wild smile and a personality that's turned up to 11. He opposed helmets with a passion, and back in 1978, he had a motorcycle accident where he wasn't wearing a helmet. The resulting impact cracked his skull and scrambled his brain, causing irreparable damage. He's never been the same since and has done some really weird things that blur the lines between his big personality and brain damage. Now, Boosie did continue on and have a massive acting career and is an absolute scene stealer. He also quite quickly became an advocate for helmet laws, urging US state legislators to push through stricter rules and even saying, if you don't wear a helmet, you're not playing with a full deck. Wearing the right safety gear is important when riding a motorcycle, but none more so than the helmet. A seemingly simple device that has a really important and quite complex job to complete. It must be protective, but also comfortable, durable, ventilated, and convenient to use. And now with the introduction of ECE 2206, the entry to protecting your precious bonds has been raised. The current standard, EC2205, has been in effect, in effect since 2002, and in the last 20 years or so, the helmet game has moved on dramatically. It seems that every other rider has an intercom or camera stuck to the side of their heads. New methods of construction and materials are used, like carbon fiber, and there's modular helmets where the entire front comes off completely. Now, this new certification aims to address the advances in technology and to sew up any of the flaws that ECE 2205 had. Before we get into the changes, it is important to note that your current helmet will still be okay to use as long as it's in good condition and isn't like a decade old and falling apart. Now, the regulation ECE 2206 mainly affects the manufacturers of helmets. From January 2024, they will no longer be able to produce 2205 helmets only 2206. You will see brands already starting to gear up design and production to meet 2206. I mean, this year alone, we have had the Shoei NX R2 and the Arai Quantic already at the standard and on retailer shelves. We've got videos on both of those, so you can go and check them out. And whilst you're there, do us a solid and subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. It really means a lot to me. It makes me feel good at night. Back to helmet safety then, EC2206 will be a more encompassing with the way that helmets are tested for things like impacts, accessories, aging, interiors, visors, and more. We'll go through impact tests first. The drop test is now two drop tests at two different heights, one higher and one lower than 2205. Now, the reason for this change is to simulate two different speeds. As a manufacturer could make an incredibly hard shell, which will do the job in a high speed impact, but not absorb the energy in a low speed impact. By having the two different heights and therefore two different speeds, you are asking your helmet to perform better over a wider range of scenarios. They've also changed where they impact a helmet. It's still the same five points over the shell as with 2205, but now there are three more areas tested at random from a selection of 12 points. Now, this is because it will be possible to cheat a test by reinforcing those original five points. But now that there's some random ones, it makes it harder to defeat and will be uh, simpler just to make a better helmet. There is also another type of drop test where the helmet is sent towards a 45 degree angled anvil and there's a piece of sandpaper attached to that too. Now, this test is to see how a helmet performs at reducing rotational forces. Uh, to the rider. So rotational energy seriously affects the brain inside the skull, something that can cause, you know, nasty internal damage as the brain rattles around inside your head. It's an important test that will seem to favor the rounder shell type shapes, and we might see sort of angular helmets slowly fading away from the market. Any shells that have a crack or deformation from testing will be subject to a rigidity test. Now this is to see if it can still absorb energy if there is a second impact. Now, I thought that this should stretch to multiple impacts, no matter if there's a crack or not, but I mean, I'm not a scientist, so I guess whatever I say doesn't really matter. Visors still get shot at by a pellet to make sure they do not shatter in your face when a stone hits them at speed. But now, drop down sun visors will also be subject to testing as well, making sure that they don't encroach upon your peripheral vision. Strangely, but positively, visors can now legally have a darker tint, 
You might not notice, as a lot of the dark visors are sold as track only, they might just be road legal going forward. Flip up helmets will now have to lock in the open position as well as when closed and meet the safety requirements for both of those positions. No longer will a flip up only helmet be certified to ride in just the closed position as they can do under 2205. They must be safe for open and closed. Helmets will also be tested to be used with devices like intercoms and action cameras. Now this part is a little bit up in the air at the moment though. Um, the big sort of intercom manufacturers have contested some of the requirements uh, to meeting EC2206 uh, and the cost of them will be, you know, be massive. So you may see that those things change in 2206. Intercoms and action cameras will still be allowed. They just need to be able to meet those requirements under EC2206. So how does 2206 compare to things like Snell, FIM and Sharp? Well, Snell is for testing helmets for car racing and its needs aren't as tailored to the motorcyclist. FIM is for motorcycle racing and manufacturers already making helmets with this will already have an edge. However, the motorcycle racer will have different requirements to the rider bimbling along the B4501. And well, Sharp takes helmets that have already passed the EC standard and rates them from one to five. It was set up by the UK government and it does give you sort of a better idea of how helmets compare with each other rather than just sort of the pass fail of ECE. In summary then, you likely won't notice a huge impact to your day-to-day -day riding life, but it does mean the helmets you'll get to use in the future will be even more protective and better performing for your riding needs. I'm expecting that we'll see a lot more manufacturers releasing ECE 2206 helmets for their 2022 range, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you head over to our website, you can filter to show only ECE 2206 helmets. Have fun, ride safe, and see you in the next one.